Hello, it's Sarah, and I'm going to try and do a video for you guys. I've been meaning to do it, and I've done it, and I haven't uploaded because my setup is not good for macrame, which is what I've been doing lately. Mm, I'm making this, and I'm going to try and post it. Also, I am growing out my bangs again. I've gained weight. Coronavirus? No, I'm only kidding. All right, so we're in my bathroom, my upstairs bathroom. I'm going to turn the camera around, try and do it calmly. That wasn't very calm. So this kind of was my obsession for a long time. It's just a little heart-shaped. This is a three millimeter rope, I guess they call it. I ordered this online. Um, got this pattern off a blog and I might have tweaked it a little but I think it's pretty much to her specifications. I'm going to go downstairs in a minute and show you lots of other things but this is what started it all because I don't know why like here's the bathroom my hubby did this whole bathroom so it just it doesn't have a lot of wall space or whatever and I had the one thing I did put is my serenity prayer I found that I think at home goods and I love the serenity prayer for recovery but also because it's just a good thing to remember and anywho so that just I'm just so happy to fill that space then the other thing I started getting obsessed with were succulents and I know that succulents have been in existence forever and for whatever reason I never knew about succulents. Look at my llama. I think I got the llama at Walmart. And I got the hedgehog at Hobby Lobby. So I just bought like a thingy and I took it apart and I bought the, the, the dirt and I have a bunch more and I'll show you downstairs. But there's my hedgie. And then I got a bamboo. Because why not? I don't have a lot of light in here. But there's plenty. Hello. All right. I'm going to turn this off and I'm going to go downstairs. I'll be right back. All right. I'm, I'm downstairs. Joe is working from home, so he's in the back. This is just a little window that kind of had some space. Probably can't even see anything, but that's all my little succulents. I just bought, let's see. All right. I got that plant, which is a spider plant and that pot all those succulents so there's six there these were from last summer and I left them outside all winter but I pulled the, I brought them in and I pulled them out and cleaned them up and replanted them and these are just from the dollar store but I wanted to see if they would live and they're living and I'm very excited and then there's one two oh he's dirty one two three four more because I just ordered um, some little pots for them and I'm gonna put them on sales but this was what started it all too so <clears throat> I got these succulents first like can you tell I get obsessed okay so I got these succulents first and I was looking everywhere for a planter to put them in like a pot and don't you know this was right in my garage I had it and I love it so much and it was perfect for succulents because it's like a little bit flat it's not very tall and look how good they're doing like they're doing so good and I made this macrame hanger and <clears throat> I got these beads at Hobby Lobby these dark beads and I just love them with the dark thing it's like perfect I'm just gonna try and shoot there we go like if I'm not shooting into the light now that um, is actually a basket rack, this metal thing that it's on that I've had forever and it was in my basement and I took the baskets off because I have a lot of baskets, see them hanging up there. But I think it's, actually I might have to unscrew this a little bit and like turn it so that the, um, the hangers kind of alternate because there's one side that's cluttered with hangers. Anyway, <clears throat> so these are waiting. For my little pots to come from Amazon that I'm so excited about and today <clears throat> I'm gonna 
make a hanger for this. And I'm going to bring this in my craft room. So my craft room. And then I got that one. That was sitting in my window forever and didn't do anything. And then I started caring about it. And now I love it. Anyway. All right. So here's my craft room. Um, this is why I haven't been filming, guys. Because, all right, I'm just going to shoot from over here. I'm closing this door because... As soon as the dogs hear me and everything, they're going to come in and cause a ruckus. So, all right. I have a door right here. My desk is right there. I usually shoot with this camera above my desk and I can shoot down at my desk. Joe also made me a thing to go live to put my um, iPhone there as well. But I didn't, I can't really do macrame at my desk. I was going to do um, a tutorial for all those keychains. Look, let me just turn my light on. There's tons of keychains up there because that's where I practiced my knots. And I had these 3M hooks right here that I can kind of pull the drawer out. But still, I had to put my camera, which I have it on a little tripod right now. And... I just never liked the footage because I actually did shoot some stuff. Um, so I'm just going to try and move slowly. So this is my setup and I just moved it because I was going to shoot from the mantle, which I still might do, like put the tripod up there. But it's just such a hard thing to... Oh, this footage is terrible. See, it gets me so frustrated because I'm not... It's not ideal and... I'm, I'm not a good camera person. Anyway, so here's, this is like just a, um, a clothes rack that I got at, uh, I got at Target. It was like 35, 40 bucks. I'm just closing my door. I have a, uh, I have these doors here because I just, I want to be able to talk a little louder. <clears throat> Anywho, um, it doesn't have a bottom like it's just like um but I have baskets everywhere so I just put baskets on top of it to hold my stuff <clears throat> which stuff macrame stuff being I have three millimeter rope and four millimeter rope and basically any scraps I had this is five millimeter and then I had white purple and then scraps and then here's the first kit that started it all kind of and then in this bin I have all the um, dowels the wooden rings that I'm I've been using actually Hobby Lobby has now started selling things for macrame um, I will do that I'll talk about that later most of this I did order online but I did get these at Hobby Lobby dollar store um, the dowels are everywhere and the beads these are all Amazon 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 for those and these are Hobby Lobby these dark ones I love them they have a couple different uh, shapes but there's not a lot in a pack but you can always use a coupon so ooh, God, I'm old. these are some of the then I had these like go through your stash guys like seriously I had these s hooks for like hanging planters but I think I also got packs of these at the dollar store um, I use masking tape because to keep my lines straight when I'm doing a big piece these are different um, plant hangers look at this little one this purple one I love I was going to give it to Lauren and she came over the other day and I was like, I can't, I love it too much. I'm so, I'm bad. Um, but I did give her a wall hanging, but it's, uh, this is called, I forget, but the little, it's a succulent, but they look like dolphins and it doesn't look like it's doing too good over here. It might need more light. Ooh, ooh look, he looks a little dying. Oh no, I don't want him to die, but they look like, um, dolphins. I gotta, I gotta water him or do something. Some, it's too much water, I think. Anywho, see, that's that's the thing. Oops, I don't mean to move so fast. I'm sorry. All right. 
So I'm going to try and set the camera on the mantle. Let's see how this goes. So, if I could, see I think it should be behind, like, there should be something behind here that would keep, you know, that would, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but I'm going to do a wall, this is um, a plant hanger that I want to do for that, um, I'm going to go over here and see if you can see me. All right. So I want to do a plant hanger that I can do, um, that I can put the um, spider plant in. I had it in this one, and it looks great, and it's great, except for it's getting tall. Like, since I got it, it literally has gotten taller, the, like, growth of it. See? See how it's, like, tall? So, when I make so this is where it with the top of the plant sits. It's not tall enough. I need to make it like taller. So this. So anyway, I cut my rope. And since I've been doing this, I figured out a few things about like cutting your rope and stuff. I'm just moving my rug. Um, so what I first started doing was using the tiles in my kitchen because they're 12 inch tiles to make it by the foot right um, but then I found um, what is her name? crafty ginger I think her name is and she cuts her rope by taking so this is three millimeter I'm gonna put it on my chair right here let me see if I can turn this a little bit. I'm sorry, you guys. This is going to be very fudgy. And I'm going to load it because I just haven't filmed in so long. Um, so I just have it here. So here's how she does it. She goes one. Like this is a body length. And then you just go like this. Two. Right? Because when you macrame... You, you double each rope. So this is probably, I would say, 10 feet. And that sounds like a lot, and it is. But you need at least 5 feet of working cord. Okay, so here's my plant hanger. There's only 6 ropes here, but each one is 10 feet long. And when you double it, you get 10, uh, 12, let's see, 6 and 6 is 12. 12 ropes, 12 working ropes, because I've doubled it, okay? So each one is two of these. Let's see, one. Actually, I think I did on one and a half. And then you take your wooden ring and have it and pull it through. And now I have approximately four feet probably, of working rope. And I'm hoping, because this is the end of my purple, that's one of the things about macrame. It's very, like, I, I say fudgy, but, like, you can figure it out yourself. Like, you can totally, like, work with ropes, make them small, make them big, whatever. Like, I tried to follow a pattern. I'll show you. I'm going to bring in a couple different things to show you real quick. Um, some of the... Um, this poor guy, I think it's too wet. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go get, um, actually, they're right there on the door. So I'm gonna turn this, and I'm gonna hang one right here. But they're on the door because I've been using this over the door hanging thing. So like for instance, these two I made from a picture that I saw on Pinterest. This one is, let's see, I made this for Jaden. And this one is just whatever, I don't know. 
Okay, I'm going to try and shoot it so that you can see them because you can't see them. All right. Oh, this is not going to be easy, you guys. I don't like it. I'm just going to hold it up. Maybe that's better. Can you see that? Not really. So this is in three millimeter. Three millimeter rope. And this is a four millimeter. Um, yeah, four millimeter. So you can definitely see the difference in the size of the rope. And by that I mean the, you know, the width of the rope. You also have to consider if you're going to add beads, you need a bead that has a nice big hole if you're using a bigger rope. So that's the re one of the reasons I chose to use a three millimeter for this next plant hanger I'm doing because I have a lot of beads that have smaller holes. So Jaden is uh, Maya's brother and his bedroom is green and I just thought this was cool. So this is just from a picture. And then this is this is actually what it looked like the picture but then when I did the four millimeter one I didn't cut my rope long enough so I couldn't do the double so this was one section but then there were two of those but I didn't have enough my rope started getting short because the more knots you make the shorter your rope gets so I just fudged it and I made a, sm a big one and a small one and put a bead so like you can totally like switch it up in the middle of like because your rope your the more knots you make your rope gets shorter so those are two and then i'll give you another example which i probably won't be able to do on camera maybe i'll just hold it in front of me so i'll move this back maybe you'll be able to see it um Actually, you know what? Hold on, sorry. I'm not used to this, you guys. I'm so sorry. Okay, that's going to be better. I'm going to back up a little. And maybe I can tell you what it looks like. Yeah, that's good. Um, so this piece I saw, I want to say Pinterest. And I loved it, but it, it was very geometric. So... You had the, it's pretty much to what it looked like on Pinterest, except for like you can see my I did it real loose here and then they tightened up. So anyway, when I went to make my half hitch knots, it kind of slopes up, and the one on Pinterest was super straight and geometrical, and it repeated this section of the piece down here. It was an exact image of this section down here, but I had so much trouble keeping these straight that I decided to change it at the bottom. And also, it was a little bit short. Um, my ropes weren't as long, like, for whatever reason. See this little short guy right here? I think when I looped it over the dowel, one side was much longer than the other, like I just didn't check. And so as I was tying knots, this one came up much shorter in the end. So, like, I'm such a beginner, but here's the thing. It's handmade. It's for me, pretty much. I did give Monica, um, she's Maya's mommy, um, another big one that I had done for her. She's going to have a yoga room in her new house. They just bought a new house. Like, they have a little back room that, like, it's really cute. So I made her a big one, and I'll probably give this to her, too. Um, for Because I have really no wall space in my house because I put everything on the wall that I make. But um, they're just... They're really easy, like, I mean, depending on the size of it, it can take you, you can get, I'm very persistent and I like to finish it, really, you know what I mean? Okay, so that's probably the biggest that I have here to show you. But then I did these. This was for um, these, I might have shared something like this. Um, I don't remember if I've been sh if I shared any of my macrame, but this one is f it was for Rachel's baby. My niece Richie's daughter is having a baby in May, and I'm gonna see if I can zoom in. I don't need to though. Um, it's called Macro Weave, and again because I'm such a beginner, 
It's not perfect. I love macro weave. I personally love the look of it. I like texture, stuff like that. Her baby's room is pink and gray, so I made this for her. And um, I like it. I don't know if it's her style, you know, but we'll see. Um, and the other thing is you can um, take these end bits when you add in a rope and tuck them behind and it might make it look much cleaner. I happen to like the fringy look and so that's the each zone. I did tuck it on the other piece. The big piece I just put back, I tucked it. And then this is the other piece I made to go with it, which I think I am going to do over again, believe it or not. And I've taken apart a lot of stuff so far, you guys, which it's weird, but that's how I roll. Because I see something that I want to change and then I just want to change it. And look, it's just rope and time. <laughs> and we're quarantined. Well, we're not quarantined. All right. Um, so this is what I'm going to do to this one because it bothers me. Okay. So all the other heart pieces that I've done are pretty much this. They have this. I put a weave section in because I wanted to, to add the white, pink, and gray. But this, I don't like. I don't like how, so I'm just going to leave off two strings. So if I leave off two strings, because this is one, two, anyway, um, I just want it to be connected from the heart. Um, anyway, I'm going to change it. Like I'm going to totally, I'm going to use this and just untie knots. So all I have to do is start untying and you know, it'll take me maybe like an hour. I'll sit and watch TV and just untie knots. And then I'll unweave this. So when you weave, basically there's just um, like strings like this and you just over, under, over, under, like you just weave like on a loom, right? So you're just, you just weave. So I'm gonna redo it because I don't like that and I'll probably tweak it more because like I made this probably one of the first things I made because um, I was going to her baby shower, which I did not end up going because of the coronavirus. It was in Florida and I decided, we decided not to go. Anywho, um, I just, I, I want to do it differently now. So I'm going to change it. All right. So then the, the last thing I wanted to tell you about was plant hangers. So this plant hanger is the only one I've done with four arms, like say, right? Like, I don't know what you want to call them, but one, two, three, four. Four little things, right? So I'm going to take this. This is just a, um, I guess it's a planter actually, or it's, it's a vase or something, but it's um, milk glass. And I'm just, because it's the size of a planter thing, I've been using it kind of as my like sizer thing. All right, so see how there's four, one, two, three, four things, right? So I'm filming that. <laughs> um, but most of, because here's the other thing, you, it, when you make it with four, you need extra ropes. You know, you're using more ropes. Um, really that's the only thing, but I do think it probably makes it a little more secure, like to hold your pot, um, it makes it a little more secure. Like I'm going to go get, uh, the little one again. Actually, let me get this one. So this, the one with the, um, this one has three, see? And this took me the longest to figure out, you guys, how to make the pot fit. And here's what I, I want to share that with you guys. Um, I like to stop the design of each arm. Like, so this one has square knots and then a spiral and then two beads, spiral, square knots. That's pretty much what they all have. This one doesn't have any spiral. Um, most of them have spiral, but this one ha doesn't happen to have any because I wanted to add beads instead. Um, this one's for Monica. But, um, 
you stop your design at the top of the pot. This is what I've decided. I don't know if it's the rule of thumb. Nobody ever told me. Um, and then when you join your loops, just make it at least halfway up the pot. If not, like this could probably go up a little higher and that's the hardest thing to measure out. But then when you gather it at the bottom, it holds it pretty good. And this is a really heavy pot. So, um, you know, you don't want it to be unstable, you know. Um, but all my, let's see, is it crooked? No, that looks pretty good. Can you see it? Yeah. So this is the only four one I've made. And like, say if I put a wider, I wanna, I'm kind of tempted to see if that one would even fit in here. I just want to kind of see. I don't know if it will, and it's so heavy, I don't really want to try it. I'm going to try and put this one in here. And this is the one that I want to make the planner for today, the purple one, because I want it to be have more space. Like, this has to be longer because these are bumping into the top of it, if you understand what I'm saying. So it depends on what kind of plant you're putting in it. You know, I mean... So for, for succulents, they're really flat, and it's kind of nice to, I don't know, have an opening. So I'm just going to take it and see what it fits like. Oh, that fits really nice, but see? See how the plant is getting squished. Like, I want my plant to be able to have room. I guess you could just pull it like that. That looks kind of pretty. Can you see it? Um, yeah, I think it does look pretty. I think that would be doable, actually. This one that I had it in, though, was just way too short. So you can already tell, like, here's the knot, and it's not even open in my, like, when you open it. It's just way too short. So hopefully the purple one that I'm going to make today, and this has just been kind of like the, the size. I ran out of rope on this one, so I kind of butched my my um, tassel, but I kind of made it like free form. Um, so these are super simple to make, you guys, and I know they have them at all the gardening centers now. Like macrame definitely came back. I don't know that I'm going to be making things much longer because I've kind of run out of uh, things. I, I don't need any more macrame. Like I've got plenty. Um, but we'll see. Uh, it's been fun though. I mean, it's definitely been, you know how I love to try new things. So, um, that being said, I would really like to show you guys a tutorial. So, I'll be back and I may do um, this plant hanger with you guys. Alright? But that's it. Thanks for watching.